Western countries could learn a great deal of information about the practices and traditions that are common in Asia. However, just like every country, some locals are traditional and there are those who are more modern. Today, we will focus more on Asian traditions and culture as there are plenty of benefits, especially in terms of financial savings. So how do you live like an Asian? Often, life in Asia involves shopping in local markets, which is often cheaper than supermarkets. Most food groups are also fresh and ready to eat or cook. But another financial benefit of shopping in markets is that negotiation is possible. If you are currently living in Asia or you plan to move to Asia, then negotiation is recommended as in some parts of Asia a foreigner will be overcharged. Up next is cooking like an Asian. Some locals have grown up surrounded by the food industry. This is because food stores, markets and other businesses are prevalent all across Asia. Therefore, many locals often have some unique wisdom on cooking foods and saving a lot of money in the process. As you are most likely aware, rice is a staple diet in Asia. You may find that when living in Asia, not a single ingredient is wasted. As a whole, transportation is one of the highest living costs for many individuals around the world. I've had the fortune to meet individuals from the Philippines, Thailand, Vietnam and Laos who are considered slightly wealthy. Not all, but some choose consciously to avoid private transportation and instead opt for buses, jeepneys, etc. But why? Because this is an ingrained habit for them and they continue to save money by using public transport even after earning a good income. So what else do you need to know about living like an Asian? Due to films such as Crazy Rich Asian and other entertainment, it's believed that those who are affluent live a very abundant life. Still, in reality, some individuals live a very basic life. And living like an Asian doesn't always mean that you can't spend money, but instead means using your money wisely in the right situations. Research from 2019 studied 48 countries from 1990 to 2013. This was to see if there was a relationship between cultural upbringing and financial savings. The research found that country fixed effects are highly significant, even if the traditional variables are controlled for. The study concluded, we use the method of relative importance analysis to measure the relative importance of a variable cultural dimension. We found that cultural related variables are among the most significant saving factors. Many of those who wonder how to live like an Asian do so because they want to save money. The key to saving money, however, is boring. The key is to simply live below your means and save often. Still, as this is tedious, many online experts advise to invest, invest, invest. Even though this is wise, if you do not apply the basic principles of savings, then your wealth will either be at high risk or volatile. Saving money alone will not build wealth, but it is an essential component. 